Hey there, Zaniacs. I'm here today to bring up a subject that has become so touchy throughout the YouTube community that even I feel that perhaps I should put in my two cents. Considering I'm not monetized, I'm sure I'll be viewed as an outsider to all of this, but fear not. I do have friends who are monetized and I hear of the troubles of this on almost a daily basis. And I figured, you know, why not have my nice bloody teddy bear from my horror world for Minecraft in the background, considering this is what we're talking about. The majority of the issues that I have seen on a personal level revolves around a huge chunk of video games being deemed too violent for advertisers to want to put their ads on videos of those of us who enjoy playing these games. Even though Minecraft isn't necessarily considered one, but look at that. I made it violent. Oh my. However, I will state this. Uh, as it, the excessive cussing on some games, some video games, and what comes out of the streamer's mouth is something that I would not want to advertise on either. So let's do our part as creators and try our best to put a better foot forward on our language. That's just my own personal thought on that. But there is a problem with this YouTube. What about the ads that you do use that involve video games? Today, I went out on a journey and sifted through many different videos to check the other side of what is going on here. I found three ads that we had created the content would be deemed as too violent for ads. Ads that are too violent for ads. What's going on there? These three ads are Recoil, Evil Within 2, and an ad for PS4 Pro, which included rather violent content from Destiny 2. So let me ask you this, YouTube. If a game we play is too, deemed too violent, why not put those ads on those videos? Keep the similar contents together and make a nice, happy family. Yeah. On that sad note, I also checked out some videos on non-gaming videos as well. I witnessed a video where someone was making a gingerbread house saw a game ad for an anime game called Elseword. Now, Elseword, I don't think that has anything to do with gingerbread houses. Do you? And yet another video giving advice on how much one should eat in order to lose weight. That ad had a video ad at the very beginning enticing people to come in and enjoy endless shrimp. How do those ads fit in with what the content creator put on their channel? I may not be monetized and I may not be a very large channel here on YouTube, but I do feel that something fishy is going on here in YouTube world. You are allowing these advertisers to become too picky. I can't honestly think of any one of my gamer friends who wouldn't enjoy endless shrimp. So what happens when you keep us under too, too tight a thumb? <laughs> the ads aren't reaching a large section of people who could benefit from what is being advertised. I believe it would be in your best interest to rethink because without us creators, you will have no content to put these ads on in the first place. Don't shoo us away from our home here on YouTube just for the sake of earning a buck. Thank you all for watching and keep your chins up. And YouTube, you have a lot of work to do. Hop to it. Bye, everyone.